Okay guys, uh, this has been a long appointed uh, video that I've been meaning to make. I've gotten surprisingly a lot of questions on this topic and I originally was going to do a mini series going over each category and I just didn't think people would be interested watching 10, 10 to 12 different short videos. So I'm going to try and do this all in one cut. This might be a two-part video, but uh, we are going to go over uh, my personal bug out bag, um, get home bag actually. Uh, what I have in it, my philosophies, and other stuff like that. So, because this is already going to be a long video, let's just get right into it. On the table here I have, this is pretty much all the gear. Now understand, yes this is quite a bit of gear, um, and another thing to keep in mind is all this is not in one single pack. Um, I think that's the first mistake a lot of people make. They literally put all their eggs in one basket. I'm not saying you need four different packs and try strapping them all together and carrying them. I'm not saying that. but categorize and layer. Um, yeah, and I think layer is a better term for it. Um, a lot of people, they use kind of a, uh, a, a different levels of gear. And what that pretty much means is, for example, um, this is kind of my level zero uh, slash level one EDC type. Um, so it's a pen light, stream light, uh, a folding knife right now, it happens to be, it's called an open L. Um, it's kind of more traditional. I, I like it for the looks. I like it because the blade, you can get really sharp. It has a thin, delicate blade. It's not tactical or whatever. It doesn't open quick, but whatever. It works. Um, I have a watch, which I took off for this video. Um, but all this stuff normally rides in my pocket. I have a field watch. I have a, the Leatherman Skeletool and some 550 cord, which honestly I don't always carry, but I have a paracord for most of my shoes laces. And then uh, last but not least is a lighter with a whistle attached to it. So my kind of rule, my personal rule for your level one kit is all of it should be able to not fit in your pockets, it should be able to fit in the palm of one of your hands. Let's just go over the different categories I have. Over here I have water and water procurement. Here I have first aid. Three, right here I have cooking. Um, most of this is shelter and clothing. I have cordage. I have, uh, I'll get to this in a second. I have some more medical over here. I have sanitation, I have tools, um, it's kind of all intermingled but it'll make sense eventually. Next is my level 1.5. It's stuff that I can carry in a pocket but I'm not going to be carrying every day. Um, it's stuff that I want, you know, whenever I throw my pack on, this, all this stuff will go in my pockets. What that is, is this is a MSK, uh, like mini survival kit. It has your basic essentials. It has some quick clot sponges, alcohol prep pads, band-aids. Um, it has a SOL space blanket in the back. It has ways to start fire. It has a little flashlight, a mini Bic lighter, a mini Leatherman, uh, some Kevlar cordage. It has some Tinder quicks, small compass, it has a signal mirror. Um, another whistle, just in case you lose your first one. And some, you know, condoms for collecting water. Um, I had this tore apart, but it all fits in here rather nicely. So this would go in one of my cargo pockets or a back or front pocket. Along with that, and this is still my level like 1.5 kit, um, would be a, a bigger compass, 
some better fire starters. This is a blast match and this is a six inch by half inch ferro cerium rod with some tape. Um, these are pretty much the only two kind of ferro rod fire starter systems that I like currently. Along with that will be some more substantial fire starting material, live fire. This is pretty much some of the best stuff you can buy. It's kind of reusable um, depending on how, you know. Um, if, if you haven't tried this stuff, go check it out. Live fire. I like its compact size. It's lightweight. Um, and then a headlamp. Um, this is a Princeton Tech and this is a Petzl. Either one would work just fine. Um, so all of this would be like my level 1.5 pocket carry plus type stuff or wilderness EDC, survival EDC, something like that. To get the bulk of your stuff off the table, we'll start with my next level of gear, my level two. My level two is a go bag, a smaller, detachable, very lightweight pack. It's kind of an escape and evasion. Um, you gotta go and you wanna carry some survival gear, but you can't carry everything. Maybe you've made camp, but you're going to go recon or scout an area, whatever the case may be. Um, so, what's in that kit? Well, first, the pack I use for this purpose is the Hill People Gear Terra Humera pack. It's a small, single, center zip uh, pack. It's pretty small, but it's really comfortable. Um, I like it a lot. Before that, I was using the Kafaro E&E &E backpack, but I had it attached to my main backpack. But you can detach it really quick, throw it on your back. Um, that was my concept behind the idea. So what I normally have in that is some, uh, we'll talk, just I guess randomly go through it, some potable aqua. Normally, um, both these are in this bottle and then this bottle is rolled up. This is a vapor collapsible water bottle. Um, I don't know if I have a video on this, but I like them a lot. They roll up really small. I like them more than the platypus. I like the colors that come in. I like the spout. I like the carabiner. So that's pretty much water. Um, water treatment, water storage. Next is I have a Leatherman Wave and a Surefire. This is the Surefire G2, I want to say. Um, I'm not super into flashlights, but um, it's momentary tail cap, twist to leave it on. It's like 300 lumens. I like it. And the Leatherman Wave. I also have another headlamp. Um, why do I have this many headlamps? Um, I find headlamps more useful in the woods and more practical for common tasks than handheld flashlights because you can throw them on your head, it leaves your hands free, and you know whenever you do need light, all you have to do is you know hit this button. Uh, the reason I chose this one it's is because I got it on sale, truthfully, um, but it's a Princeton Tech. It has two red functions and two white light functions. It's simple. It's also, you know, a bright color, so in case I drop it, it's easy to find. You know, I liked how easy you put the batteries in. You just pull that tail cap, or that uh, flap down. With that, I have uh, trail marking tape. What's this for? Well, if I'm tracking something, or if I'm doing whatever and I just kind of want to keep tabs on the way I came or whatever the case might be, um, you can also divert, um, if you're in an escape and evasion, 
um, you can divert attention away by setting a few of these one direction and then looping around and going opposite direction. There's different uses for this. Um, I also have a pair of binoculars uh, just for observation mostly for re recon stuff like that. They I don't use them that much but they're a 12 ounces they're less than a pound. Also in that kit I have well my philosophy is if I'm using that kit maybe something bad happened, there's a lot of violence, something going on. Um, so I don't have a full-fledged uh, medical kit, but what I do have is an Izzy or an Israeli bandage, some two-inch cloth medical tape, a pair of shears, and this is a soft tea tourniquet. This is kind of like the cat combat combat apply tourniquet except this one has an aluminum windlass. Besides that they're pretty much identical. What else do I have in that? I have um, a pair of leather work gloves whether it's for you know doing hard work or what just to protect your hands. I have a shemog. It's cloth you can use it to filter water, to camouflage your face, for added insulation wrapped around your neck. Um, if you're really sweaty, you can use it to wipe sweat off your face. Um, you can use it to wash your hands, or dry your hands off, I guess. Um, I just like it. They don't really weigh anything. And then, also in that backpack, I have... This is... The Outdoor Research Ferocio Jacket. It's a lightweight, really packable um, soft shell jacket. As you can see, I mean it packs down really small. It's mostly a windbreaker. It's not waterproof. It's barely even water resistant. But it dries really quick. It's made out of nylon. And if I'm running or something and I have this jacket on, I won't get all clammy on the inside. Um, if I'm running and it's raining out, I'm going to get wet either way, um, as a lot of people know. So um, I just like it. It's kind of, it's an earth tone color. It's one more extra layer of clothes. Um, you know, what's, what's, what more do you need? In that level two bag what I also have is a multi-cam nylon poncho again multi-functional for deep downpours I like ponchos over rain jackets it's a it's a semi escape and evasion type bag and this poncho is multi-cam which means concealment you can use it to rig shelters you can use it to collect rainwater um, very very multi-functional you can even use it as a litter to drag either game or maybe um, a friend of yours if they're injured or something out. But again, multifunctional. Um, you might ask, you know, why is it in this brightly colored bag? Uh, just so when it's in the pack, it's easy easy to find. It. I like kind of compartmentalizing my stuff. So multicam poncho, and then I would also have. Um, some 550 cord, either black and or um, a dark olive drab color. And then the last thing um, in that E and E kit is the SOL Escape Bivy. Now I have a video out there on YouTube, um, probably about a year old. It's one of my most more popular videos. Um, using this and another product I'm carrying down to uh, 30 degrees. So, you know, these things are well proven. This one, because it's in like an escape and evasion type kit, is in an olive drab color instead of the orange. I still own the orange one and I like it. It's held up, all that stuff. So that's my level two point, or that's my level two kit.
So now for my uh, backpack. Well, first, not really in my backpack. These are the shoes I'm going to be wearing. The Solomon XA 3D Ultra 2 hiking shoe. The Gore-Tex Multicam. I like the lacing. They're super comfortable and they're lightweight. Um, I'm just kind of randomly going over all this stuff. A pair of wool socks and a lightweight layer of uh, icebreaker, which is merino wool, top and bottom long johns. These are some of the best base layers out there in my opinion. They don't hold an odor um, in extended wear like synthetics like Under Armour do. They're warm to the touch. They get wet. They're still warm. All that stuff. Uh, some more paracord. Uh, why is it pink? Um, so it's easy, easy to find and so other people don't steal it. It doesn't look like all tactical, so if I'm out there with buddies or something, uh, they're not going to steal this stuff. That's pretty much the only reason. And it's pretty easy to see. Uh, the Kafaro Wubi uh, multi-cam, using this in conjunction with the SOL Bivy in my level two escape and evasion kit, um, and the extra clothing I have on a sleeping pad, like in a shelter, the lowest I'd go is about 10 degrees, which covers me for about three of the four seasons. Kafaro Wubi. Thermarus Pro Light 3, I'm not going to pull it out. That's the sleeping pad I'm using. Um, in conjunction with this, I can use dried leaves, um, mylar blankets, different types of insulation. Uh, yes, there's a possibility that this can pop. But yes, I have ways to patch it. And the reason I like it is because it's way less bulky than like a closed cell foam mat. And truly, you don't need this for survival. This is more of a comfort item. This is my clothes bag. Uh, what's in here is a pair of soft shell pants made by Marmot. A, an icebreaker... Um, heavyweight merino wool zip sweater and a Prima Loft puffy jacket. Um, I mean, I could take a lot more clothes to change into, stuff like that, but this compact package is really efficient. It works well in a wide range of temperatures. This is my AquaQuest guide. 10 by 7 sil nylon tarp. Inside this stuff sack also has uh, tent stakes, tarp clips, carabiners, bungee cords, bank line, um, a lot of MacGyver, shelter MacGyvering type stuff. Uh, with this small uh, pouch and this, you know, decent sized tarp, you can make a multitude of uh, shelter options. Your options are really open ended. You can do quite a lot. Uh, that's why I chose this over a tent. Uh, this is my food bag in here. Yellow rice. I have protein bars, mountain house meals, um, trail mixes, coffees, teas, stuff like that. Um, my cooking system, the jet boil, flash, um, out personal cooking system or something like that. Um, I haven't bought any of the smaller canisters, the canisters that fit inside this yet, but this, I believe it's a four ounce, this is a four ounce, four ounces of fuel. You get about um, 30, you can cook about 30 meals with just this one canister. Um, so that's my, my new uh, cooking system. Um, my water, two clean canteen stainless steel water bottles. I've talked about these. These actually hold, hold about one liter of water each. Um, my MSR Miniworks water filter. I've had this thing for years. There's probably better ones out there now, but this one hasn't failed me, so I'll just keep using it until it breaks, I guess. Um... My banana boat sunscreen, 
a more comprehensive first aid kit. Something mini bug out bags are missing. Um, that's pure hand sanitizer and butt wipes. Uh, this is a secondary smaller first aid kit. My silky saw, my Mora fixed blade knife, and my ambush alpha fixed blade knife. Last but not least is uh, bartering. Um, stuff to barter with people with. Um, a pack of cigarettes. I might throw a few more in. Um, a few packs of chew. I might throw, throw a few more in. And right now I have $500 in this bug out bag. Um, in, in the future I might add a little bit more. Um, I'll probably add some 10s and some 20s. Um, maybe some 50s. And depending on the type of claps, you know, cash might not be worth that much. Actual money, depending on what type of claps it is. But anybody that sees a $100 bill, um, you know, you can probably bribe people pretty easy um, with uh, this. So that was my, hey, um, my complete bug out bag system as of yet is kind of a multi-layered system as I talked about. Thanks for joining me uh, in this video. If you like this video, like this content, make sure to like our, like this video, um, subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, we'll see you out there. Stay safe.